Using the tooltip macro, we can overlay short snippets of text to a confluence page that can be used to provide context or share supplementary details with our readers. To begin, start with the page in edit mode. And once you've identified the block of content that will activate or trigger the tooltip, I've chosen this button. You'll need to add a span macro to your page using the shortcuts, open curly bracket, and span. In the spans editor, enter a descriptive ID and copy it. We'll need to reference it in the next step. For a simple setup, we'll skip the other parameters. Select insert. Now add your content to the span macro. We're now ready to assign a tooltip. In the tooltips editor, we can now paste the ID created in the previous step. If you're typing it, be aware that the ID is case sensitive. Next, add a short tooltip message. Finally, set a direction. From this drop down, choose which direction you'd like the tooltips arrow to point in. Select Save. Now publish or preview to see the tooltip in action. Remember, tooltips can be assigned to most elements that have an ID parameter, but for a complete list of what's possible, check out the tooltip documentation.